Okay, this is the outfit for today. I'm wearing this vintage Max Mara pinstripe shirt that I got from Lou, an old Urban Outfitters skirt that Jason got for me, I think two years Whoa. ago in London. Peachy Down checkered bag, but I got this on Depop. I'm not sure what I want to do. I'm trying to have a little bit of a self-care day or maybe go me bring me and baby on a date. What do you think? Also, I think I'm gonna wear my hair down. I think we might go to a park because it is warm. My favorite baby shop is the little wooden peg and they had a sale on so I got a few things for the baby. Now it still was expensive like it is an, it's an expensive shop. I just loved all the designs there. This is my favorite thing I saw. And I got it in a year because obviously it's too sunny now for her to wear and she's 10 months so once it gets a bit colder I think she'll fit into this perfectly. I got these little shorts. I got these in a year as well because they're stretchy so I feel like she could wear them now and also grow into them. And then I got her these pajamas also in a year because she she only sleeps in a vest now because it's too hot but once once it gets a bit colder again, she'll be wearing pajamas. I think they're so cute. And she has started sleeping through the night recently. We're having a great time. I need other tall lamps and it's, it's leaning over you. So the rest of the room is slightly dark. And I also have a scented candle lit on the coffee table. Wait, Keelan, I asked you about scent earlier and you were like, Okay, so I this is for writing. Wait, are you, are you only doing, are you doing scented candle when you're reading or when you're writing? When I'm reading. Okay, when okay. When I'm writing, it's too distracting. It's too much. It's too much. So when I'm reading, then I'm on the armchair and I have a lovely, like, Donegal wool throw blanket over my lap. I'm so okay. snug as a bull because cat, there's a cat laid on my, and I have my legs crossed, you know, the way it dances. And I'm reading there. What are you reading? With my glasses on. I'm reading. Don't take it for enough. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what time is this now at this age? We have, we've had eight, 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 eight in the morning. morning. Eight okay, have me and Sears gotten up yet? You guys are separate to me, you guys do your own thing. No, but like, Sears where? But like, you, would you not easy if I was telling the story, I'd be like, oh, then I ran into it. I don't know, I was. into you in the hallway, and then we. My kiss, and then we push each other, I push you up against the wall. my period you know when you look at the tampon and it's mostly white so I was like oh I could probably get away with not wearing one and it was my last one anyway so I was like I must be finished <laughs> It always fucking tricks you. That's when the massacre decides to come. I put on my lovely, nice, fresh, warm, warm tracksuit bottoms, feeling lovely, straight out of the wash. You know the lovely smell, the lovely detergent smell? Blood all over them. Yeah, she's still going strong. Jason cleaned the whole house yesterday, so I didn't have to do any of that, thank God. Because I do like having a nice clean home, but I don't like doing it. But I have been feeling really insecure about how I look. But I think that it's probably just hormonal. I, I know I'm gonna get through it next week. But I booked in to get a brow lamination, a lash lift, and to get my nails in as well because I've been these have been like growing out for ages um, and I've, I've, they've all snapped off and everything. So I might book into the hairdressers as well to get a trim. My hair is really long at the moment. I've done a really good job of growing it. 
it does have a lot of split ends so I just need to chop chop them off sometimes I go through phases of absolutely loving my parents like I'm so unique I'm owning my uniqueness that sort of shit whereas now I'm like oh I can get a bit of Botox get a bit of filler here get a bit of filler here get a bit of Botox there I could make up things that I need to get done until the cows come home once I get the money in my account I'm just like why not who's stopping me because my new motto and I was adopting it and adhering to it a little bit is just who cares but the problem with the motto who cares it could be it could be adopted to either side of the argument so it's like who cares if I get all this work done but then on the other side who cares if I get all this work done but then the other side of it is like who cares if I'm aging and look a bit a bit like myself you know and not perfect all the time it's been difficult to try to decide which side of the who cares I'm on but I'm lucky that I don't have time I don't actually I don't have the time Time and also that I'm breastfeeding because I would I think I would be addicted to like getting things put into my face Now never say never don't hold me accountable if I do get a bit of filler for now I'm just gonna have to love what I look like a lash lift because it's just something temporary and it's not too strenuous and it's just a nice little booster it's actually Emer's sister, she's a beautician she does all this and she does it at her, at her house and you can bring your baby so it's even better so I'm just gonna get all that you know when you're not wearing makeup you feel a bit better like you don't need to be putting makeup on every day huge under the skin spot but someone did comment in my last video saying that this made them break out i woke up at 4 a.m today and you know when you're just tired and you have nothing to say nothing of quality to say at all i have nothing of interest to say the weather is being so homophobic can't really spend it any time outdoors when it's raining and shitty weather and because i haven't like gotten into a routine here whereas now i'm just like oh just literally on the couch like this I'm just staring at her all day going, what am I supposed to do with you? I'm buying her toys, we're reading together, but then once that's done, I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I look wrong. I was also thinking of dyeing my hair. See the way it's a bit like chucky, chucky Yay. cheese at the top, like. So I'm thinking of going dark brown after I get my eyebrows laminated, because with the blue eyes, I think that would look really good. And then it would look better when I have it slicked. Hopefully the next time you see me, I look stunning. Okay, bye. I went over lunch today with Ellie. I went to South Street and Green for a few bits. I got crayons so that we could color together. I got her this shape sorter thing. Oh yeah, I got this watercolor thing. I like doing arts and crafts when I'm out and about. I want something that I can pack and it's not gonna take up too much space because all the paints that I have at home, you know when you just pick up random hobbies and you've accumulated all of this shit so then when you're finally like moving house, there's so much extra shit that you have to bring around, it's really annoying. So that I, that I can paint in my little journal that Saoirse made me instead of like bringing loads of paints with me everywhere. So it's just way handier for traveling. And then if I want to paint outside or whatever, I can bring just in this little palette. Oh yeah, I got these textured face cloths. And then I went to Boots because I'm gonna give myself a little self-care pamper session. And I also don't have a lot of skincare. I'm not throwing on serums or whatever in between. It's just like one less step, one more step that I have to think of that I'm not ours. I thought I'd treat myself. Hydrating mist toner that I love. I always run out of it. It's the Sukin one. I've been using this for years. It's like one of my favorite things. Just spritz my face to keep it topped up, keep it hydrated, like throughout the day if I'm not wearing makeup or whatever. I got a retinol serum. I don't know where my tweezers are. I'm gonna do my eyebrows because I wasn't able to get a appointment to get my eyebrows and lashes done until the 12th of July. So I'm getting my nails done on Saturday and then I'm getting my eyebrows and lashes done on the 12th. But until then, I just got a tweezers to try tweezing myself and eyebrow dye. Biodegradable sheet mask. 
And that's everything I got.